Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel, see the soul, the truth lies within and here we are going to talk about the 2nd March that is after Shivratri, a special day has passed, actually for us every day is Shivratri because when we are in meditation with Lord Shiva or God Shiva or the incorporeal Godfather, then we are in complete connection with Shivratri or the essence of Shivratri. Now here, what does Godfather have to say? Let us understand that in this blessing Baba says, may you have a right to self-sovereignty. That means I have complete control over my mind, my intellect, but that is my intelligence and my habits. And I'm in also in control of my senses. It's not that I didn't want to say something, but it just came out of my mouth. I didn't want to see something bad, but I just happened to look at it continuously. I didn't want to participate into hearing something negative about somebody else, but I ended up hearing it was very nice and spicy to hear it. So God says, no, when you are in control, you are in control. How do we do that? We learn a little bit of it over here. Let's take a glimpse. Baba says, may you have a right to self-sovereignty and make your mind, intellect, sanskars. Sanskars means habits. And all your physical organs, complete physical body is in control of either soul, right? When the soul is in control of its mind and intellect, automatically all the five senses come in control of either soul. That means even you can do the same thing. Sanskars and your physical organs work with right codes of conduct. Souls who are the masters of themselves, souls who are the masters of themselves, make all their physical organs, make all their physical organs work under their orders with the power of yoga. Not the physical yoga, but meditative yoga. I am the soul. I am in remembrance of Supreme Godfather. I'm receiving my love and peace and happiness from God. That means I'm not looking for love and peace and happiness here, but directly over there. So automatically my mind will not be wavering around too much because I'm in control of my mind and who's controlling my mind? Supreme Godfather. He's giving me love and peace and happiness. I have given away my mind and intellect to him. Instead of giving away my mind and intellect to people and things around me who themselves are fluctuating. So, then God says, Souls who are the masters of themselves make all the physical organs work under their orders with the power of their yoga. Not just physical organs, not just physical organs, but also the mind, intellect and sanskars follow the directions of the one who is their master. That is, they follow all the codes of conduct. What should I think? What is pure to think? What is pure to decide? What are the pure habits to keep? That is one thing. And automatically my eyes will see pure, ears will hear pure, and mouth will speak pure. So we are in control. And we are creating more of a balance of positive karmas as we have heard in the uh, Vardhan or the blessing a day before. And we are reducing the number of loss making karmas. So through the words which we speak. So they are never influenced by the old sanskar. That means our old habits of talking ill, thinking ill, talking impure, thinking impure or acting impure will be abolished. But keep those sanskars under their control and use them with the highest codes of conduct. So we are using the right karmas, right thoughts, right actions with the right code of conduct which we learn at Brahma Kumaris. You too can learn those codes of conduct. And they form connections and relationships with others with their elevated sanskars, with their elevated behaviors which have been taught by God, elevated thoughts, elevated behavior, thoughts and behaviors full of virtues. A soul who is the master of himself would never be deceived even in his dreams. That means even in our dreams we cannot think ill or impure about anybody. So till that level, you can reach a level of purity with the power of Raj Yoga Meditation, which is being taught at Brahma Kumari's Godly Spiritual University. And you're most welcome to attend that seven-day course of Raj Yoga for free anywhere in your city with this Om Shanti.